प्लीज गुड मॉर्निंग सर प्लीज टेक दिस थैंक यू सर कंफर्टेबल यस सर इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ टू द बोर्ड मेंबर्स सर माय नेम इज प्रेरणा सिंह आई एम ओरिजिनली अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ हाजीपुर वैशाली बट आई हैव डन माय स्कूलिंग फ्रॉम धनबाद व्हिच इज करेंटली इन झारखंड thereby i went on to pursue my uh, graduation from the university of bardhaman uh, in uh, electro uh, applied electronics and instrumentation engineering and this is my first attempt in bpsc interview right to so, prerna what is your hobby so my hobby is uh, gymming fitness and workout mm -hmm. of late it has been it is being noticed that uh, a lot of uh, young people were not supposed to get heart attack they are dying because of heart attack what could be the possible reasons for that sir um, as far as i can identify uh, the uh, main reason is the poor lifestyle mm -hmm. uh, these days uh, the lifestyle the eating patterns the food patterns they have drastically changed and people are going on for more junk food uh, they are opting less for healthy food options mm -hmm. homemade cooked foods and also sir there is a rise in the stress level because of the modern lifestyle mm -hmm. so all these things together they take a toll on the lives of people their daily activities and this is one of the reasons uh, the heart rates are increasing okay uh, as a student of sociology tell me one thing as you have just pointed out there are certain reasons which are associated with lifestyles and these lifestyles to a great extent are being uh, you know uh, is being uh, determined because of your uh, food habits and all the current food habits that you are developing because of junk foods and all uh, can or should a government take necessary steps in this regard to curtail uh, this kind of junk foods in the market in the taking into account the public interest yes uh, sir uh, i would say that the public health is uh, a important part of uh, government it, it is a, an important part of government policies mm -hmm. and uh, public health is mandatory also because uh, as we know humans are not just humans they are resources for the nation so the government just cannot let go and we also have a lot of uh, regulations in the country like there are boards like fssai and uh, that regulates the food uh, safety and food standards and also the government is coming up uh, with several initiatives like fit india uh khelo india to promote fitness so yoga this is from different directions because that is what i'm saying is that can government take certain steps to uh, <coughs> reduce the a uh, flourishing junk food industry that we have right now in the country sir since junk food is one of the reasons for the deteriorating lifestyles of people then government should uh, can definitely take steps to if government does uh, you know if government takes certain steps so don't you think it's going to violate article 9 19 the right to profession and business sir but the constitution also says that article 21 can take over article 19 at times article 21 says the right to life and liberty but life should also be a quality life so by if by eating junk food and uh, promoting uh, uh, this uh, junk food culture if it is deteriorating the health then uh, article 19 can be kept aside for some time so i just get the feeling that government is forgetting its welfare activities and it is becoming a police state now it's going to police uh, the society now don't you think so by taking this kind of steps government will be deviating from being a welfare state to a police state sir but the dpsp also says that the government should be a welfare should establish a welfare state also mm -hmm. so i cannot uh, directly say that it is a police state but it is a welfare activity mm -hmm. since we need to establish a welfareistic society mm -hmm. so this can be a step towards establishing a welfare in the society i you know uh, the whatever we have done since 1991 will be struck down by this one stroke because we'll be again going back Uh, to the uh, earlier phase of licensing raj and inspector raj where the uh, you know the people who were involved in manufacturing uh, goods government used to regulate them harshly for yes. example we had mrtp we had feda yes, so the step that you were uh, referring or recommending rather is basically a step uh, which is uh, regressive in nature 
Sir, I would say that uh, we uh, government. Uh, I, I I would like to say that government should not put a complete ban on this uh, food activities and the junk food culture because uh, it's the time of globalization also. Uh, but we can uh, take regulative actions. We can regulate. Regulations can be done, sir. Instead of total prohibition. Can there be something called uh, self uh, <coughs> regulation? Yes, sir. Through Instead awareness. Of government's uh, regulation. Okay. What is love handle? Sir. What is love handle? Love handle, sir, is the part around the if uh, in the uh, in the human body it is the part around the mm -hmm. belly uh, mm -hmm. where generally the fat accumulates. Uh, and How? It, why it is called love handle? Very, where is love associated with this? Sir, uh, in my opinion, it is called the love handle because it is the uh, most rigid part of the body, and uh, the fat in that area goes out at the. most uh, late time mm -hmm. at the end mm -hmm. after shedding all the body fat it is the part which loses weight so people love it so it is like kind of love i think people hate it it should be called hate and handle because everybody who is health conscious would love to get rid of this fat sir what it is i think clingy like love okay. doesn't go right. away okay okay uh, a case uh, a situation i'll give you and you have to uh, you know tell me the kind of action you are going to take let's say you have joined civil services you are you have been working there for so long you have a boss who is very uh, kind hearted you know sympathetic compassionate all these things are there he helps you a, a lot whenever you are in trouble he helps you you have got a very good working relations with your boss yes. now once it happened that he he could not come to office because he was ill and there were certain files which were there in her office and he called you up and said please play now come bring those files to me because i have to look uh, at those files and i have to sign also i'm not being able to come to the office you come please in the evening when you reach his uh, home just at the time of knocking the door or you know uh, pushing the uh, you know bell you hear that some lady from inside is weeping crying it is quite audible to you somebody from inside a lady is there and then you enter the room and boss welcomes you you are you are offered a chair in our drawing room you discuss the matter and all that lady was still weeping and you just casually asked uh, your boss that is everything okay he said absolutely fine nothing wrong in that and then you come back next day when you go to the office you were very curious something is fishy so when you discuss all these things with one of your colleagues over there that person says that this particular boss has the habit of beating up the wife occasionally he does that okay now this is what you hear from her what action are you going to take against that boss what will you do in such circumstances so firstly i will Firstly, I'll get myself assured that the weeping and everything was actually the domestic violence thing. How? How are you going to do that, <clears throat> sir? Uh, firstly, though, I will go to the boss himself and I'll politely ask him if this is the case. Mm -hmm. And as a human being and as a woman myself, I would in, uh, persuade him uh, to uh, disassociate himself with any such activities because it is definitely uh, not a good thing. and even if then the activity promo uh, continues then i would uh, definitely uh, make a complaint to the local police station because uh, sir domestic violence and reporting domestic violence is also uh, required to bring out bring down the crime levels against the women okay thank you sir okay sir you are going to join bureaucracy okay. so first of all tell me the Uh, ideal type of uh, bureaucracy given by the Max Weber in the respect of sociology. Sir, I'm forgetting. Sir, I'm sorry. Forgetting. Yes, sir. What is the contribution of Durkheim in the respect of uh, religion? Sir, uh, according to Durkheim, he says religion. Uh, uh, he uh, transforms the entire religion into uh, by giving the example of a totem. and he says that uh, the social solidarity is expressed in the form of uh, totem worship 
so he says ki that the totem is not just um, uh, an idol uh, for them they manifest it as uh, uh, the totem as their uh, idol or their god or they associate themselves with the totem but actually they are trying to exhibit their social solidarity uh, in the form of the totem worship so that was the idea of religion and religion brings social solidarity basically how uh religion uh, uh, religious principles of darkheim is different from the general religion they different from the general religion so uh, darkheim was a functionalist basically so he had a macro perspective so for him uh, it, everything was uh, looked uh, uh, from the societal basis from the eyes of the society and he uh, you, uh, that he postulated uh, what he postulated was uh, religion is a Uh, is an activity which brings about social solidarity uh, but in general uh, if we see then uh, i in my opinion i would say religion sometimes is uh, it can be from an individual's perspective also it sometimes bring uh, brings peace to an individual also so so this is in my opinion how religion is different from the dharma sir dharma in the sanatan uh, views uh, is basically the uh, the uh, ideal set of uh, duties which a human should follow to achieve the best uh, goal of life and uh, religion is a general connotation of the path that we follow to reach god so this is uh, what i can identify right now okay you are engineer yes sir so can you explain the relation between social physics and sociology sir i'm not very sure but i'd like to try if you allow okay go ahead uh sir sociology is basically a study of society and the relationship of humans their interrelationship uh, in the, in the society which also kind of directs their particular roles in the society social physics i would say is the dynamics of the society uh, the different changes that comes about in the society so that can be the social physics last question Can you explain the principle of ventilator as a student of applied electronics and instrumentation? Sir, ventilator is basically a life support device. Uh, critically, uh, med- med- patients with critical medical history or the patients who need life support, they are generally put on ventilator uh, to, so that they can sustain their life. And sometimes they are also able to. Re- How it works? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know the working. Medical instrumentation. in your uh, is included in your in your course sir it was it was that's it. okay good please <coughs> a man is traveling on the road yes sir suddenly he is attacked by bull what type of behavior the bull has shown and what type of behavior the man will show sir the bull has attacked the man that is the natural animal's instinct so the bull will attack when something comes on its some, way so there is some name for that type of behavior i'm sorry sir i don't know this then man what type of behavior the man will show sir he will definitely try to protect himself or run away then what is the name of that behavior sir i'm again not sure of this you have <coughs> given the hobby gyms and workout yes sir how much distance a man should travel per day to keep himself fit so for a person who has a very active lifestyle it is around 10000 steps which uh, translates to around uh, 2.5 to 3 kilometers 3 kilometers approximately recently a singer from the foreign origin has died while performing his stage show what is name of that singer sir i'm not sure of the name you have given the pre- post preference dsp audio co co what is session code sir the court uh, at the civil level district level uh, that hears the civil cases that is the session code but i am not sure civil sir. cases session court will hear civil cases i am sorry sir i i don't know this sir what but is re- permanent lok adalat sir for the redressal of uh, the uh, local uh, cases the lo- sir i'm sorry sir i don't know this again but i'll read this what is summon 
सर समन इज कॉलिंग इन जनरल टर्म्स इट इज कॉलिंग कॉलिंग समन सो वेन कोर्ट कॉल्स अ पर्सन फॉर द हियरिंग और ऑन द डेट दैट दैट बिकम्स द समन इन विच केसेस वॉट द समन केसेस इन विच केसेस वॉट टाइप ऑफ केसेस आर देर इन समन केस I'm sorry, sir. I'm not sure about this. R D. You have given also preference R D O. Yes, sir. I suppose to R D O is posted in blocks. Yes, sir. What is Manrega? Sir, Manrega uh, uh, was uh, a program uh, which was for uh, employment guarantee scheme. Uh, it was started in the year 2000 for employment uh, generation. Uh, What is full form of Manrega? सर मनरेगा स्टैंड्स फॉर महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन प्रोग्राम इज इट प्रोग्राम आई एम नॉट श्योर सर लास्ट लेटर इज व्हाट इज द लास्ट लेटर ऑफ मनरेगा सर असिस्टेंस और अश्योरेंस सर आई एम नॉट श्योर ऑन दिस इन डीएसपी सपोज यू आर पोस्टेड एट डीएसपी इन ए सब डिवीजन Suddenly, in night, you have got information that Hindu-Muslim right has occurred in your area. Yes. How you will proceed in this case? So first, I will report to my duty location, and the first step should be uh, settling down the matter with communication with the uh, leaders of both the parties. That should be the first step. Negotiation, uh, I would say. and again if negotiation fails and if after negotiate uh, negotiation the riot doesn't stop or the people don't stop then definitely law and order actions uh, against them should be taken which is permitted by the laws there has to there are laws what are the duties of your subordinates in this case so the subordinates have uh, subordinates of me sir no you uh, all things are doing yourself then what subordinates will do so they will carry on the commands that i give for the controlling of the activities or the right you have got information that in night both parties will both community will attack each other in dead night then what step you will do in this case so first of all uh, i will get on alert and i will get my team on alert and if the information is correct then we have to uh, get ready uh, at the place or the tip where we have got the place the tip we have got and uh, will you arrange some special patrolling in the those areas sir i'm sorry will you arrange some special patrolling in those areas sir that is a part of the duty uh, nego uh, sir uh, surveillance is a part of the work so But definitely suppose you have got shortage of forces yes sir then in this condition what you will do sir there can be two things that can be done first of all is the force that we have uh i definitely i'll uh, we'll try to work up with that and we'll uh, i'll try to contact with the higher official the higher authority and ask for more support and more force okay okay thank you thank you sir then kya bhai aapka interview sir 12 january yeah दो चार पॉइंट्स हम लोग डिस्कस कर लेते हैं एक तो वेन एवर यूल बी आस्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस एस तो नेम एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट अवॉइड करना नेम एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट अवॉइड करना नेम डिस्ट्रिक्ट योर नेम डिस्ट्रिक्ट कास्ट रिलीजन अवॉइड करना ये सर सर आई नॉट टेक माय नेम ना नो नेम नो डिस्ट्रिक्ट नो कास्ट नो रिलीजन सर देन वॉट शुड बी द इंट्रोडक्शन आई हैव डन ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम यर आई हैव डन दिस थिंग दैट थिंग वट एवर यू हैव रिटन एक्सेप्ट नेम डिस्ट्रिक्ट कास्ट एंड रिलीजन यू कैन टेल दैम I have done graduation schooling from here in this subject. Then graduation from here in this subject, and then I have uh, got this hobby, this and that. I have got this sociology as an optional. This thing you can very, really, you know, naturally you can tell them, right? See, the problem is uh, from administration point of view, two things. One is that you change your stand. if you are put under pressure you will change your stand because the first stand was that uh, junk food government should take actions against junk food i mean the manufacturers second was that you said no no uh, it is when i put pressure there you said no so change of stand is one which you should not be doing mm. second one is whenever you give your opinion 
or you say something there has to be some logic behind that and you have to take into account as an administrator you are it will be operating within the framework of constitution you know the set you know rules and regulations constitutional uh, dimensions everything should be taken into consideration when you ask the government to take actions against them so there would be so many repercussions or your remedy would be worse than the problem itself right that's a problem the remedy will be worse than the problem so it'll be you no know, uh, you know opening up some of the other avenues where it will be very difficult for the government to handle sir uh, uh, like in which case matlab uh, which context sir which junk case? food when i say that should government take any action against those people or uh, people uh, to control this junk food okay. manufacturers and all hai na so you should not say all these things okay <coughs> if i talk about the second case wife beating you are not supposed to take any action at all mm. i was confused that lady did not come to you mm. there can be n number of reasons why that lady was, was crying fine. of course okay maybe somebody died in a family that lady was crying because of that there may be n number of reasons which has got nothing to do with wife beating you got something from your uh, colleague and on the basis of that input which is which is which which cannot be verified mm. you have gone to your boss and you have you have taken your boss to the police station <laughs> see the irony of the case yes sir why should you take any action against that so but if i say like taking no action so it will show apathy from no, my side no why when you asked your boss everything all he said all right okay that's it next day you come and that lady or that person say so many things there may be some other reasons yes sir he uh, or she doesn't have that kind of an equation with the boss okay sir he or she wants to tarnish the image of the image of the boss yes sir yes, you sir. have not verified anything as an administrator and you have straight away taken an action means application of mind uh, application of your uh, work without any mind hmm, hmm. so it's a disaster yes okay taking no action is also an action okay okay yeah you need not have to take any action ideal type i think you forgotten ideal type of maxwell yes, law yes sir and a one sided accentuation of one or more variables that may or may not be found in reality yes sir. which are projected yes sir by maxwell law religion when sir asked you the contribution of imail darkim it was not that he really basically basic contribution is that he brought religion to the level of science he called it a social fact okay because that is what his perspective was isn't it he said set of rules and regulations to practice you know dictated or directed by a church so that is what difference between religion and general religion in case of darke it's a social act in case of general religion it is not social it is individual in case of darkim there may or may not be any god concept of god is not there mm. in darkim religion in general religion we have the concept of god, god. right and then social physics and sociology that is august august comes uh, theory in sociology we okay. missed it and sir asked you public uh, permanent lok adalat that is basically for public utility services okay sir i'll read this mm. and then session court is basically meant for criminal cases Hmm. Sir, I said sorry, cases. I don't know this. Uh, no, it's all right. Your right. father is educated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. And then <laughs> empty narega. Sir, but I am an engineer. You have said, you have said, G stands for generation. It's not. It's it's a guarantee. Sir, so I said guarantee. It's a guarantee. It's not generation. It's a guarantee. Okay, okay. Last. Okay. And A stands for act. act. You said program. Program is a small one. Okay, sir. Which is a small component of an act. Maybe five percent of the whole act okay, program. Sir. Okay, sir. Through program, you actually take all those things, right? Forward. Sir, so how do I correct this? I mean, everything. All this. See, there are some factual uh, questions which, of course, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. But uh, you have to take uh, special care where case studies come. Sir, how do I do this? For example, when you say that you did not think about all those things, uh, Article Nineteen, right to profession, you know. Uh, we have we are a globalized economy. All this stuff. 
you know, when I asked you that in, the, in public interest, should government take any steps against these people who are producing junk foods and all. So you should take, you have to take your thinking on a wider level and then you have to project your answer. So, can, so how do I correct this in this time frame? You don't have to correct anything, you have to just think before you answer. There may be some other cases, not necessarily these cases will be asked. So whenever you give an answer, in case of case studies, you just remember one thing that whether your action is going to violate the human uh, you know, values, constitutional values, fundamental rights of the people, fundamental rights of the you know, producers, manufacturers, all these things. And then you project an answer. Mm. These are the guiding principles which you have to take into account. Right? दो बातें मैं आपको डालता हूँ सर के जो सर ने आपको सजेशन दिए बहुत अच्छे दिए हैं उसको मैं समरी में कंक्लूड कर देता हूँ आपको कभी भी कोई डिसीजन लेना हो पूरी लाइफ में एज ए ब्यूरोक्रेट तो आपको सोशल वैल्यूज और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वैल्यूज दोनों को साथ लेके चलना है हमेशा याद रखेगा सोशल वैल्यूज और सोसाइटी में चल रहा है और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में चल रहा है दोनों में कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हो जाए तो किसके साथ आप जाइएगा सर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बस और दूसरी बात लेजर इम्पोर्टेंस वर्सेस ग्रेटर इम्पोर्टेंस अगर कहीं पर दोनों चीज़ें बेनिफिशियल हैं तो इसमें ये देखना पड़ेगा कि कहाँ कम किसको इम्पोर्टेंस देना और किसको ज़्यादा देना बस अगर इतनी चीज़ें दिमाग में रहेंगी तो आई थिंक अगर कोई आंसर गलत नहीं होगा ठीक है दूसरी बात जो सर ने वो एक्शन वाली पूछी थी कि वाइफ रो रही थी उनकी बॉस की चलो मान लिया उनके साथ डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस हुआ होगा मान लिया तो डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस वाले केस में भी हम डायरेक्टली लीगल एक्शन की तरफ नहीं जाएंगे फैमिली कोर्ट होती है वहाँ डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस हो गया डाइवोर्स का मुद्दा हो गया तो फैमिली कोर्ट क्या करती है रिजोल्व पहले कंप्रोमाइज कराने की कोशिश करती है और आप पहले क्या कहते हैं नहीं तुरंत हम एक्शन ले लेंगे नहीं प्रैक्टिकल मैं आपको बात बता रहा हूँ तो कहीं अगर कोई डिस्प्यूट है भी और फैमिली का डिस्प्यूट है तो पहले हम क्या करेंगे रिजोल्व सर हाँ कि किसी तरह से बात कोर्ट तक ना जाए और जा कोर्ट चली गई तो, तो बात ही अलग है तो पहले तो आपने उसको पहले परिवार वैसे तनाव में था आपने लीगल एक्शन ले लिया और तनाव में पैदा हो जाएगा ठीक है ना हर एक चीज इनपुट सर को सर के उसमें डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस के केस में अगर आप चली भी जाएंगी पुलिस स्टेशन में तो वो आपका इंटरटेन नहीं करने वाले हैं हस्बैंड वाइफ का मामला है वाइफ जा सकती है आप जाएंगे तो वो मार के भगा देंगे ठीक है हस्बैंड वाइफ का मैटर है वाइफ डिड नॉट अप्रोच यू नो बडी टोल्ड यू और आपने बोला कि डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस हो रहा है जिसके अगेंस्ट हो रहा है वो बैठी है घर पे उससे आपने पूछा ही नहीं वो उससे आपने पूछा नहीं आपने उसके कहने पे आप चली गई है ना तो ये सब नहीं होता है ठीक है ठीक है सर ओके ओके थैंक यू सर